Do you own a service business? If so, you may want to pay attention. Do you remember why you started that business in the first place? All the time and financial freedom you were going to have with your family and friends? Then you ended up wearing so many different hats in your business and the thought around growing the business means more time at work, less time with family and friends, and more headaches with employees. If that's you, we have the solution. It's a simple formula that works and it starts with structuring your business in a simple way that makes everything else easier. Finding and hiring the right people that actually help you grow the business and helping you implement the key things to make your whole team more efficient and effective. This is the Pivot Ready Business System by Birdflow. We've helped hundreds of small service businesses grow and become highly successful. Elevate your opportunities, profits, and time freedom. Visit www.bergflow.com slash podcast to claim your free video to learn more. You're just minutes away from learning how to transform your service business in your life. Hey, welcome back under pressure listeners to the under pressure podcast. My name is John. I'm your host. Uh, and this is Under Pressure, where we're going to talk about all things business and under pressure. Uh, today, I don't have a guest. I try to like switch back and forth. Um, and also right now, <laughs> everybody's been busy. It's been pretty crazy, uh, which is understandable. Uh, as business owners, business owners get busy. Sometimes they schedule and then they have to cancel and reschedule and all the things. Totally fine with me. I'm happy to come in and throw in kind of a just me discussing some things because I'm still going to bring you some nuggets, some things that you're going to need. If you're that business owner, you're that business leader, all of this is going to apply. Okay. So today, um, by the way, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. And if you're just listening, uh, thank you so much. Hopefully, whether you're driving or whatever you're doing during this time when you listen to this, I want this just to be some things that while you're busy at doing something or, or whatever, you're learning, you're taking in what's being said and just something for you to think about, right? Ponder on. If you ever have questions, send me an e I think if you're watching, it's john at bergflow.com. You can email me um, or you can send me a message uh, some other way. Give me a call through Bergflow, whatever. Okay. I'd love to answer some questions. Um, always still looking for new people to come on the show. So if you're a business owner and you're like, man, I'd, I'd like to come on there for one, it, it, it gets your business out there. Uh, two, it's just a good opportunity to come on and, and be interviewed. It's good practice. Plus this is very laid back. It's just a conversation. We're just going to have a conversation. You guys have listened. If you're listening now, you've probably listened before. And if you haven't, it's very conversational when I have someone on the show and it's important to me that they feel comfortable. It's very laid back for you, not only for me and for the person I'm interviewing, but for y'all as well. So that being said, contact me. Let me know if you're interested. Uh, I'd love to have you on. So today we're going to dive into something that some people may be a little uncomfortable talking about. <clears throat> and it's, there's several reasons for it. So as I get into it, We'll talk more about why that is. So what we're going to discuss today is the challenges that come with entrepreneurship, right? So we do always talk about some of the, those challenges in some way, shape or form, whether it's marketing or maybe it's equipment or maybe it's how to grow the business or how to hire or whatever it is. Today, we're going to explore a crucial aspect of the entrepreneurial journey. And that's the influences. Okay. The influences that shape an entrepreneur's path to success. All right. So we're, we're going to discuss the power of influence. Now you say you might have questions like, all right, what do you mean by influence? Well, think about it. If you're a business owner, if you're a business leader for that matter, okay, who are you spending your time with? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, are you spending your time with other entrepreneurs? Are you spending your time reading? Are you spending any time doing research in your field? What are you doing 
to for yourself? What influences are coming into your life personally as an entrepreneur, if you're the business owner, or as a leader in the business? And if you're honestly, if you're a tech listening to this, it doesn't matter. Who are you spending your time with? What are your influences? All right. And, it, and if your influences aren't doing their job as in influencing you in a good, positive way, I'm not saying we're, you know, we're not talking about butterflies and rainbows all the time. All right. But influencing you in a way that's bringing you up and moving you forward and up. Right. Because <clears throat> we can all stay in one spot. And if that's where you want to be, fantastic. But usually as a leader, a business owner, or even someone that's just working for a company, the idea is at some point, what goals do you have? Do you have goals? Is it just to be where you're at? Or do you want to be in the same spot you're at? And when I say spot, I don't mean the spot that you're sitting or standing. But do you want to be in that same place five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now? Or do you have some aspirations? Do you have some goals? Do you want to grow your business? Do you want to move up in leadership? Do you want to move into leadership? Would you like to start your own business someday? Okay, so these are a lot of questions. Now, let's talk about this power of influence. Okay, so as entrepreneurs, you know, you guys are going to find yourselves under relentless pressure of making critical decisions. Okay even as leaders, facing uncertainties, navigating turbulent waters in the business world, right? All of these things are happening. If you're that person, if you're in that role, it's going to happen and it does happen. But, but what helps us steer the ship? If you're there, what's going to help you steer that ship? You're the business owner. This is your baby. Okay. What influences play this pivotal role in shaping your entrepreneurial journey? And if you're a leader, what are those influences? And if you're the tech or whatever role you're playing, whatever position you're in in life, what's shaping your journey? Okay, think about it. Who do you talk to on a daily basis? Okay. Do, are, they, are they in the same field? Are they just your coworkers and your family? It's fine if they are. Is anyone challenging you? Does anything challenge you? If not, should it? So today we're going to unpack this question of like, who's shaping your journey? and discover how the company that we keep, <laughs> like me, you, everyone, okay, the company we keep and the books we read and the, the mentors we seek can profoundly impact our path to success. And, and, and I'm just, I'll throw this out there before we really kind of dive in. Here's something else to understand. Just because Someone looks successful from the outside. Maybe they've got more money than you. Maybe they've, you know, you're, you're the person that's trying to uh, move to a certain size house and provide your family with uh, specific trips or whatever it is, right? I don't know. But you see someone that may appear to have the things you want. You have to be careful because you don't actually know if that person, just because they're in that position, because they have more material things and more money, that doesn't always translate to being the best company. Okay. Just, just throwing that out there. Now it, it could, you could learn something from them, right? Possibly. But sometimes that person, those people, and, and even people in all realms, you just have to be careful. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of money, you have a little money, you have a lot of stuff, you have a little stuff and everything in between. Some people can still be toxic. 
because they have stuff inside of them that doesn't work well, right? Now, that's a whole nother topic, but you have to be able to kind of sort out and recognize when someone is toxic because there's something, they're searching for something and they don't know what it is. They don't know why. Uh, keeping up with the Joneses. There's got to be more of a reason than material things and objects, right? So let's get back into this. So let's talk about the company you keep. We'll get into that because we kind of, I said, I said like company, books, mentors, things like that. So let's talk about the company you keep. They say, you may, some of you may have heard this, and I think I've said it on the show before, but they say you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So, so think about it. Think about it for a minute. Who are these five people in your entrepreneurial circle or leadership circle or whatever circle you're in? The, the five people you spend the most time with. And, and let's, it can be family, but you know, family is usually like, if you think about like in your household or whatever, they're going to be there, right? They're going to be there, but let's, let's take for a moment, maybe, maybe pull them to the side because your family is your family. It's your blood. You're going home every day. You're going to spend time with them, right? Are you spending time with anyone else? Now let's think about those five people. If you can identify in it, even if it's four or three, but this is just this average thing that they've come up with, right? Now think about their income. Think about the things that they're doing. Um, what do you do when you hang out with them? Are y'all all doing the same thing? Do you kind of sort of more or less make around the same kind of money on average? Are you the one that's making all the money and all the other people that, that you're around don't make money? Can you have conversations with them, right? I don't know. I'm, and these are things I'm just probing and asking these questions, right? So think about it for a minute. Are they visionaries? Are any of them visionaries? Are they risk takers? Are they problem solvers? Or are they holding you back with negativity and complacency? I can't answer those questions for you, but you can answer those questions. You know the answer. What kind of people are you surrounding yourself with? And what are you doing during that time? What, what are the conversations like? Okay. Is it all just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, just talk, talking football or, or uh, you know, what happened during the day or whatever? Or do you occasionally have some, some conver can you have conversations that involve goals? Where you want to go? Um, how you're going to push yourself, how they're pushing themselves. How can they help you? How can you help them? Right? Surrounding yourself with the right people can be a game changer in your life. You have to be able to sort out and kind of recognize who are those people that are going to help me change my life. And, and here's what I personally want to do. I want to get in rooms. I've got friends and a lot of different levels and places. Okay. And, and there may be times and moments that I'm going to see them and I'm going to love on them. And, uh, we're going to freaking have a great time, right? That's okay. And, and we're all in different parts of our lives, but the most, the people that I'm going to spend the most time with and try to actually get them to, I want to get in rooms where honestly, I am, am the dumbest. OK, where and, and I'll put it this way, if you don't like the word dumb, if that offends you, uh, I, I don't know as much as the, the people in the room. OK. On a lot of things, I may know more about some things, but I want to know that those people in the room know a lot more things than me about certain things. I want their bank accounts to be much larger. I want 
their happy scale to be way up. Okay. Now for me personally, I don't size of house doesn't mean anything. If it were, if it's up to me, I could live in an RV, which I'm considering anyway. I, I don't need a lot of space. Uh, personally, I don't need a giant freaking house. I would rather have little tiny, literally tiny homes spread out all over the United States in different areas or an RV where I can go to all these different areas than some giant mansion or whatever. I'm sorry. That's just me. Okay. So speaking about me, I want to get in these rooms where people and the conversations are going to uplift. Now, it doesn't mean that every freaking conversation that you're going to have has to be about money or success or, you know, wealth and all these glorious things. Okay. We're not, we're not living in pretend land. Okay. Some people do that and that's fine for them. Okay. But those conversations do need to happen where people are asking, Hey, what are you working on? What book are you reading? Um, what what vacation are you going to take next? Where's your next adventure? Where's your next trip? Uh, what, are, what are the goals of your family? Um, what's retirement look like for you? Are you are you going to start that business? What's taking you so long? What kind of help do you need? Do you need any advice? Okay. These are the conversations that as entrepreneurs, especially, but even as leaders and anyone else, there should be conversation around that. If it's like, Hey man, what's up? Yeah. I saw the football game, football. Uh, yeah, no, the kids are doing that. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Those are the occasional stuff, right? Still laugh, still have fun, still do whatever. Tell some jokes, but you've got to get yourself in these circles with people who are going to influence you to move your life forward and not be complacent. Okay. You don't want to be complacent, right? So surrounding yourself with the right people can be a game changer. Get in rooms with people who are going to challenge you. Don't be afraid of it. All right. So I once had a mentor who told me if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. It's essential to surround yourself with people who challenge you, inspire you, bring out the best in you. Seek out networking events, okay? Mastermind groups. Uh, Build relationships with those who can propel you forward on your entrepreneurial journey. I just recently joined a mastermind, you know, probably spent more money than I should have on this group, or I say should have. It, I, I don't, it's one of those things that I, I haven't done. Okay. But I want to be in these circles. So I'm willing and man, these they're great. They're pushing me. They're driving me. I'm it's, it's constantly this back and forth. And I'm, now I'm doing this challenge called it's basically 75 hard, only better. It's or more challenging. It's 76 harder. So look it up. If you haven't heard of it, it's something, it's pretty crazy. It's a good time, but So these are the things I'm talking about, though, getting around, even if you have to shell out a little dough to get in some of these circles, to be around those entrepreneurial minds, those people who are going to push you, do it. You're going to get your investment back. Okay? You're going to get information. You're going to get knowledge. You're going to get driven. You're going to get challenged. We've got one coming up right now through Bird Flow. It's uh, over at Palador Canyon, 6,000 acres of private land, four days, three nights, only 1,500 bucks. Okay, it's just for business owners. Just for business owners. 1,500 bucks? Okay, that's nothing. We're going to have whiteboarding sessions. Uh, You're going to be driving Jeeps off-road on these gnarly trails, having a blast hiking, caving, uh, eating great food, just, it's going to be a fantastic, and then those conversations, right? So there's going to be whiteboard sessions, but then there's going to be conversations around a campfire that you're not having anywhere else. And it's the kind of conversations I'm talking about. 
You want some information about that? Go to birdflow.com. Look under trainings. You'll see CEO Catalyst Mastermind. Go check it out. Okay. So that's enough on that. Love to have you. In fact, there's only there's only five spots left out of 14. There's only 14 total, but there's only five spots left and it's in October. So it, they're going fast. Get signed up immediately. That's going to get you in those kind of rooms that I'm talking about. Now, now let's talk about the books you read. Books are a treasure trove of knowledge, right? And wisdom. They, they, they're easy to kind of pass because now there are some people you're not going to be able to get in the room with them. Okay. It's, it's just a fact. The chances of you getting in the room with every person who can pass on some amazing knowledge, every person I said, is pretty slim. So there's books, man, like <laughs> wisdom in pages. That you could just go and purchase an audiobook, even if you're like, dude, I don't like to freaking read. Okay. You're listening to this podcast, right? So listen to an audiobook. It doesn't cost much money. I, I listen to audiobooks while I'm also reading books. So, like, most people like jam out to music when they work out. Okay. I love to work out. I get up every morning, go do it. I take care of my body, which you should be doing. That's another topic. I take care of my body, but most of the time I'm not listening to music. I'm not jamming. There was a time and a place, man. It was like heavy metal. I'm jamming. Now it's podcasts. It's audiobooks because I can kind of zone in and I'm pushing my body and I'm pushing my mind. Okay. That's me. Everybody's a little different, right? Find that place, right? They offer these books and audiobook, you know, things. They're offering insight, okay, perspectives, strategies that can, can help you overcome obstacles and navigate the intricate world of entrepreneurship. So if you're already an entrepreneur, you're considering or you're considering being an entrepreneur, there's some invaluable information in some of these books. You've, you, you need to invest a little time and money into doing that, preferably reading. But audiobooks are fine as long as you can legitimately soak in the knowledge. And that's the key. If it's just playing in the background, you're not really paying attention, you're not really retaining any of that information, or more importantly, applying it. Yeah, that's that's the day you still got to do the work right so many successful entrepreneurs will credit their reading habits for a lot of their achievements okay the other side of it it's usually mentors coaches programs and things that help them why do they why why do they do all that instead of just ah been doing this however long. It's fine. I, I know what I'm doing and I'll figure it out. What the heck? If you if you can avoid figuring it out on your own and save yourself some pitfalls by asking someone's advice or reading it in a book or having a mentor teach you about it so you don't have to waste your time, energy, and money, to redo something or hire a coach like with bird flow. We, we do coaching and consulting. Why do we do that? To help people. Okay. To help entrepreneurs, to help leaders avoid pitfalls. If we can, right? That's the point. Yeah. Save money, save time, learn about it. Like, well, it costs money to do all that. Yeah. It's going to cost you a lot more later down the road when you fail. You fa and failing's fine. And remember, you learn lessons from failing. <clears throat> However, uh, if you can avoid failure and just go straight to success, possibly, or reduce failure by learning ahead of time from a resource, man, <laughs> that's, that's called intelligent. 
All right. Do it. So there, man, there are a lot of books that you can read. Um, and I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get a list. I, I didn't think about getting a book list together, but I'll get a book list together and I'll post them on here um, so that you can see, or I'll put them up or I'll read them off one of these other times. So I'll make sure I get it up and, and get it to you guys. So <clears throat> find some books, good audio books, good books to read. All right. So now let's talk about mentors and coaches. All right. So mentors and coaches can really be a game changer on your entrepreneurial path and your leadership path, or if you are looking to step into that. Okay. Whether it's someone who has been given the knowledge and all the information and they're, they're taking you through that, or they've been through it, or both, It, man, it can really just change your trajectory. Someone who's walked your path you're on or can coach you through the path you're on, provide you with guidance, okay, and share experiences, share knowledge, and valuable insight into what you're going through. And there are some people believe like, well, I'm not going to go talk to somebody like a coach if they haven't built a, you know, if you're looking at a business, if they haven't built a million dollar business, then why am I even going to talk to them? Hey, understand something. Um, to use knowledge, you don't necessarily have to have done it, right? You can know the knowledge and pass it along. Because that's it's no different than if you get coached or you're mentored and then they teach you and then you see someone who needs that advice. Can you not give it to them even if you haven't done it yet? Of course you can. And then you've done it, right? You drive cars. Did you build the car? Have you built a car from ground up? No, but you can know you know how to use it. You've been taught how to use it. Okay. But usually you're going to find like mentors and coaches, they've got the personal experience. All right. The earlier in your careers, whatever that looks like, the more mentors and coaches and stuff you can get and have and push you through, that's going to make a difference. So, right. And, you know, it doesn't, we're not always, I'm not just talking about you shelling out money. Right. That's not that's not what I'm trying to get you to do here. A lot of times you can find people in your same industry or a different. It doesn't matter. Tell me right now, guys. Uh, service, especially like you service industry, guys, if you don't know what that is, man, if you're providing a service, you have technicians, you have some leadership teams, you're the owner, you've got equipment you're moving to and from your whatever the service you're providing whether it's for home, commercial, whatever it is. These services, they they bleed. 80% of, of the businesses and things like that, they're the same on the inside, one way or another, right? You might have 20. I know everyone's like, well, my business is unique and I'm special. I hate to break it to you. You might have 20% that's unique, maybe, Okay. But the operation of the business is all pretty similar. Okay. So, you know, you still got to do things like get leads, find customers, right? Uh, sell them a product or service, uh, provide them the product or service, make sure the customer likes it, hopefully retain the customer. I mean, all these things are, they're the same. Okay. So find a mentor or pay for a coach and get some of this knowledge ahead of time. Avoid some of the pitfalls, steer around them, 
um, through that kind of stuff and you're going to save time and money, right? Mentors and coaches, they're going to share successes and failures and help you guide and navigate through tough times and, you know, align if they, if they can help you align yourself with your own vision your, and, and make sure like, so think about like some of the things that you need, like what's the company mission, vision, values, and culture. Do you know these things? Should you? Yes. Like, oh no, all I got to do is go out and we do jobs, get paid and repeat on cycle. Well, if you're doing that, you're probably losing a lot of employees, okay? Or you're not making what you should be making. And you're in this cycle. You should really take a look at your mission, vision, values, and culture. And so I'm, I'm giving you some advice right here. That's what this podcast is for, in fact. To find people to help you get advice. To pass that information along. And that's part of what we're doing here is like podcasts and stuff like that help a lot, but it's also good to have somebody in your life. And that also means, like I said, and we'll kind of take this back because ultimately having those conversations directly and it's a game changer for you, your life, you'll find that it's also going to bleed into your personal life. And you'll start to want to improve and make changes in your personal life, right? Because if, if you don't know, if you're a business owner and you haven't experienced it yet, you're, you need to understand <clears throat> that if your personal life is a wreck, it's going to start to bleed into your business life. And if your business life is a wreck, it's probably going to lead in, start bleeding into your personal life, okay? So when people say business isn't personal, well, it's pretty personal to the people who own the business, who are in it. That's your livelihood. That's, you know, that's a lot of people, depending on how many employees you have. And if you're one of those employees, you might, you know, you're invested because you're getting a paycheck from this business. Everything revolves around that. And if it's something, you know, you're not into and you want to look into doing something more, start talking to somebody. If there's something else you would rather be doing, if you have your own visions, go and find someone to talk to about that. Right? Talk to someone, a mentor, a coach, um, someone who maybe even is doing the thing that you have a vision to do. Don't be scared. Well, there there could be competition. It's okay. You'll find most of these people are pretty happy to pass this. There's plenty of people, plenty of customers out there. All right. Uh, And if someone's not willing to to help, hey, that's their problem. It's fine. There's going to be, you're going to be able to find someone. Get yourself in circles that challenge you. Don't be afraid to step out and and look around and be in this room where you're the low man on the totem pole. That's the rooms I want to be in, right? Oftentimes, I'm one of the bigger guys in the room, like size-wise. But... I generally try to put myself in rooms where I'm going to learn stuff and now I'm going to be challenged. And it's up to me, of course, to take those challenges and to learn whatever it is I'm supposed to learn from them. Sort through it. Some of the stuff you might pass off, but picking up the things that, that you want and that you need to learn, man, they're crucial. So in conclusion, all right, as entrepreneurs, as leaders, and any place else you are, the influences 
that you surround yourself with can either propel you to success or they can hold you back. Right? And you, and you might start thinking about some of the friends that do you do the same thing all the time? That's all you do. No drive. No, you know, I just had a buddy uh, like a week or so ago. We hiked mountains together and now he's wanting me to run up one. Okay. Literally run up a 14,000 foot peak. Do a marathon up a mountain. Ridiculous, right? But that's the kind of person I want in my life. Someone who's going to ask me something tough like that. And now I have to wrap my mind around that. It's a good friend. It's a good person who's going to challenge me in a new way. So we should be doing that for each other. You should be doing that to someone else. Not necessarily the mountain thing, (laughs) but challenging yourself and those around you to be better, to move, to move forward. And sometimes that's tough. There's, there's going to be people that you find in your life that don't want to have those conversations. They're perfectly fine right where they're at. They don't want to grow. They don't want to make more money. They don't want more adventure. Okay. Those are the people that you can see from time to time and go and have a good time with momentarily. But when you want to be challenged, you're going to have to be around someone else. The company we keep, the books we read, and the mentors we seek are powerful sources of inspiration and knowledge. It can be game changers in your life. So listeners, take a moment to evaluate the influences in your life. What are they? Are they pushing you forward? Are they holding you back? And remember, it's never too late to make changes that will shape your entrepreneurial journey, your leadership journey, your life journey for the better. All right. Man, good discussion. Great topic. Remember, we've got that mastermind coming up in October. You want more information on that, go to birdflow.com. Look under trainings. It's under CEO. You'll see it. There's some stuff crossed out. Look under CEO Mastermind. I think it's CEO Catalyst Mastermind or something like that. It's it's the only one in October. Uh, It's very cheap for what you're getting. It's not going to stay this price. I can promise you that. It's going to get way more expensive. Uh, I've been to two of these and it was phenomenal. Okay. And I'm going to this one as well, but man, it's just so refreshing to be able to get around driven people in these circles and circumstances and hear the conversations that take place, feel those vibes and the energy and have adventure. So if you haven't had adventure, This is an adventure as well as whiteboarding sessions. We're going to learn stuff plus all the conversation, everything. Anyway, you guys get the picture. Five spots remaining. That's it. Okay. Go get signed up. The more, the longer you think about it, it's it's not going to work. Right. If it, and if for some reason you're like, man, how do I, what do I remember? Just remember John at birdflow.com. You can email me and I'll send you a direct link to look at it. Okay. No pressure. Anyway, we're going to wrap up this podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, share, tell people about it. It's just information, man. We're just trying to get stuff out there to you. Uh, next. Uh, This next week, we'll have a new guest uh, coming on, and uh, we really look forward to that. I want you guys to have a phenomenal day, and let's start start with this challenge. I'm going to challenge you, so I'll be the first. Get yourself out there and get yourself around one person that is going to challenge you other than me. So my challenge is put yourself out there, 
make a new friend or go and find that person that maybe you're associated with or already friends with that's going to challenge you and have those in-depth conversations and find a book to read or listen to. All right. Once again, this has been Under Pressure Podcast, where we've been discussing everything business and under pressure. Thank you. And we'll, we'll talk again next time. Have a great week.